Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Hopkinton High School turf fields. And today we have a double dose of girls soccer. We start off with the JV matchup, and then we'll have the varsity matchup. It's also senior day for the varsity team, so they'll be having the senior day ceremony before their game, which is scheduled for a 2 p.m. start, but we'll start off with the JV action. Tom Nappy on the call today for what should be a good matchup between two very good TVL programs, the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norton Lancers. We are just a few minutes away from getting things started here on a nice day at the turf fields. Temperatures are in about the 50s today. The sun is out. Some clouds in the sky, but perfect weather for some fall season soccer between these two teams. And right now, we have the two captains in the middle of the field. For the Hillers, Ariana Schaefer is out there. And for Norton, they have Gwen Robichaud and Savannah Goba. It looks like on the field. So we'll meet with the officials, determine sides. And in the JV matchup, it is four 17-minute quarters. Of course, in the varsity matchup, which we'll see later on today, it'll be four 20-minute quarters. And the Hillers girls JV team has played well lately and they have some good talent on this roster that's going to be fun to watch in the upcoming future. The last time we got a glimpse of this Hopkinton Hillers JV team they took on Holliston and they got the win in that game. It was a two to one final and the JV team defended well and controlled the tempo of the game for the most part so it'll be interesting to see what they do against this Norton team and taking a look at this Norton roster there is some experience on it they have three juniors on the roster for the Lancers and we don't have the grades of the Hillers girls JV but one thing we can tell you they are led by head coach Amy Mick who's done a nice job with this team and the Norton girls JV team is led by head coach Haley Elliott and we are just moments away from getting this game started off here on this nice Sunday afternoon and we are live on HCAM Ed also we are Streaming on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. Players have taken the field, and we are ready to go. Here in matchup number one of the day. Of course, yesterday we had the boys games on for you. And it was two very nice Hillers wins. In the varsity matchup, they got the 3-2 to two victory. And then the JV team, they had quite a day as they netted six goals to take down Norton 6 to nothing. as the Lancers start things off, working right to left across your screen. And we are underway. A pass by Jordan Ranieri over to the far side. Sent down by Phoebe Gessner. Back and forth we go here at midfield. Over to the far side on the chase down for the Hillers, Emily Hayward. And a play it goes. Will be Hillers ball. A futsal from the far side. Of course with the COVID rules, no throw-ins. You just have to put the ball in play with your feet, of course. Shelby Jones along the far side sends it back. Hiller's trying to work it into Norton territory. 
Here they come. Getting in there on defense is Carly Bell Goodwin. Along the near side now, Michaela Scanson sends it out. It will be Hiller's ball. I apologize, it's Mika Michaela Scanavin. From the near side corner, it's Scanavin who will put it into play. Over to Terigny she goes, back to Scanavin. Out in front, approaching, shot just a little wide by Emma Champlin. Lancers will put it into play. And it looks like we had a COVID whistle there on the approach. Sent down the near side. Off the foot of Sheen it goes. Back to midfield. Silva trying to send it up. And there's a trip up there. That'll draw a whistle. Certainly looked like an inadvertent trip up as Shrika Beladiga was a little tripped up. A collision with Phoebe Gessner. There's a strong boot into the box it goes and at a play a little too far in front of Emily Hayward. On camera for this afternoon, it is Rowan Scott. And thanks to Rowan, we'll have some golf highlights coming up for you this week. The golf team had a couple of great matches this week and collected a couple wins. Mailers will put it into play from the far side. That's Shelby Jones. On the sideline now. A little back and forth before Terigny is able to send it up. Out in front. A nice attempt by Emma Champlin, but it was blocked by Ranieri for Norton. Lancers will have the free kick here. Sent back to the keeper. She'll send it back over to Grace Souza. Back and forth along the far side as Gester tries to take it down. And Lancer's is trying to approach. Podbelski sends it back. And along the near side, that's Robichaud. Getting in there to block it was Sheehan for the Hillers. Nice block by... Alley. Here comes Scanavin. Sends it up towards Champlin. Can she get there? And able to divert the attempt is Erin Lennon. Just beating out Champlin getting to the ball. Putting it in play from the near side is Alley Sheehan. Sends it to the box. Out in front, cut off by Gessner. There goes Terigny. Sent down by Carly Bell Goodwin. Turned around by Robichaud. Back up goes Veronica White. And we get a COVID whistle here, it'll be Lancer's ball. Souza. Well, one thing we saw yesterday in the boys games in both the varsity and JV, the teams are really getting used to these rules here in the third week of the season. Obviously it was a big adjustment 
First week was a little sloppy. Second week got a little bit better. And an opportunity here, and the keeper's able to wrap it up just before Champlin could get there. But it's good to see these teams getting used to the situation that they have to play in this year with the new set of rules. Game's certainly going a lot smoother from what we have seen so far in week three as Hayward sends it to the net. It's wrapped up. In net for Norton, I believe it is Emily Shepis. I've not been able to get the number quite yet. Here comes Norton, Robichaud approaching. And getting in there is Ali Sheehan. Does draw a whistle, however, with the uh, contact. If she didn't get in there, that could have very well have led to an open shot right on net. And it looks like we have a stoppage of some sort here. And we're going to have a sub for the Hillers. Kate Finnegan comes in for Michaela Scanavan. Veronica White will send it up. Aired out along the near side. And sent out a play off of Norton's Aaron Lennon. Getting in there, Robichaud. Here goes Robichaud approaching the net. And she's turned away for the moment. Hiller's doing a nice job at the defending the Norton attack zone. Not letting the Lancers get too many opportunities from the box as Finnegan sends it up. Takes a couple hops and it's wrapped up. Just under nine minutes left to go here in quarter number one. About halfway through this opening quarter. And there's a trip up. That'll lead to a whistle as Podbelski had a little bit of a collision with Shrika Beladiga. Billy Diga sends it up. A nice boot there, and it is wrapped up just before Emily Hayward and company can get there. Along the far side towards Shelby Jones, and just out of bounds it goes. Jordan Elstrom Hall and Courtney Frazier into the game for the Hillers. Emma Champlin and Emily Hayward will take a breather. Scoreless game so far between the Hillers and Norton. Some good back and forth. Kept in play by Podbelski. Over to White. Nice job by White, but there to send it down is Gessner. And it's wrapped up. It's Libby Herlihy in net for the Hillers. Lancers trying to approach. Well defended there by Hopkinton as Silva kicks it away. Lancers working back towards the attack zone. Well, it started off Hillers ruling the possession battle, but Lancers starting to pick up a little momentum here. On the far side, that's Belladiga turning it upfield. Schaefer sends it up. Alstrom Hall trying to get there, and it's sent out of play by Ranieri. Put into play by Belladiga. Big collision there. 
Elstrom Hall was trying to box out the defender and ended up colliding with Ranieri. I like the way these two teams are playing so far. They're playing uh, good physical soccer and being aggressive at pursuing the ball. Sent up by Finnegan. Back and forth along the far side. Just under six minutes left to go in this first quarter. Trace, tracing it down is Shelby Jones. She'll send it up towards Belladiga. There for Norton. Ranieri in the center circle at Souza. Sent up now by Robichaud. There for Hopkinton is Pirelli. Taken now by Robichaud. No one there. She was hoping somebody could get to the attack zone. Played off the body of Finnegan. And a play goes along the near side. Lancers will put it into play. First we'll have a handful of substitutions for the Hillers. They subbed out about five there. You'll see that a lot in these games with no timeouts. And, of course, only 10 games a season, they're going to get everybody some experience. That's what it's all about. Along the near side, chased down by Pirelli, but she tapped it out. Lancers will put it into play. The Dell Cross Cup with the futsal. Sends it over to Carrero. Swing and a miss there by Hiller, and Danette able to get there. Cincinnati was trying to send it up and I'd like to have that one back along the far side. Sent up by Ranieri. And out of play it goes. Lancer is approaching. And nice diversion there as Carrero went for the Shot and Pirelli sacrificed herself to block it. Alstrom Hall running up the far side. She has a lot of speed. Alstrom Hall battling with Calhoun along that far sideline. Out of play it goes. It'll be Lancer's futsal. Souza. Sends it up towards Danette. There for Hopkinton is Scanavan. Towards Elstrom Hall. Finnegan taking it up the far side. Sends it forward towards Schaefer. Schaefer looking for a shot. The goalkeeper way out. And it is in! A 1-0 lead for the Hillers. Ariana Schaefer with the goal. Well, that goalkeeper came way out of the net. And when you do that, you risk an easy score. She thought the ball was likely going to end up at a player. She thought she was going to get there first, but Schaefer beat her out. On the pass from Finnegan. And the Hillers lead it one to nothing with two twenty-eight and counting left to go in this first quarter. But when you have players near the box like that, you want to stay pretty close to the net. You don't want to be coming way out. Because if you don't get there, it's gonna be trouble. Answers will put it into play. Souza will send it up. Put off a Gessner. Sends it back. Over to the near side. Sent back up by Jones. Ranieri. Back and forth we go here in the midfield zone as Hayward trying to work it upfield. Pass to Finnegan. Here goes Hayward. 
Along the near side. Trying to center it up. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up. Emma Champlin got in there for the shot. You could tell she was being careful because the way that ball was bouncing, if she gave it a strong boot, it would have went right over the net, but she certainly would like to have a little more power on that. But a good shot by Champlin. Sent down by Carrero, and a little push there from Hayward will draw the call. Lancers put it into play. Cincinnati gets in there. Sent down by Ranieri. Erledge taken by Souza along the far sideline, trying to find where to go with it. Tapped out of bounds. Shelby Jones, you got in there. Airing it out towards the box. She was looking for Carrero, and getting in the way was Pirelli. And that is going to do it for quarter number one after one quarter of play. It's Hopkinton 1, Norton nothing. You are tuned in to Hiller's Girls JV Soccer on HCAM. Second quarter of play. And after one, it is Hopkinton leading the Norton Lancers. One to nothing. A nice goal by Ariana Schaefer, which was assisted by... Finnegan, Kate Finnegan, and Ariana Schaefer just had a shot at a wide open net and she was able to knock it through. And we are ready to continue on. The Hillers will start off with possession. The work right to left across your screen. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on this Sunday afternoon for a double dose of girls' soccer. We start off with JV, and then we'll have Varsity and the Senior Day festivities as well prior to the Varsity game. And a play it goes. Rowan Scott on camera. Put in a play to Cincinnati. Towards Silva. Lancers trying to get some momentum going. Silva tracks it down. And just able to keep it in is Shelby Jones, but then it's knocked out anyway. Good hustle there by Jones. That pass was uh, very much in front of her. Towards the box now. Taking it out, Veronica White. Carrero runs into traffic. Nice send off there by Silva. Sent back up by Lennon. And a play goes. It'll be Lancer's ball. Cincinnati sends it down. Lennon collects. Sends it back up towards Souza. 
A little too much contact there. That'll draw the whistle. Lancers will put it into play. Over towards Skirkanich. Along the near side out of play it goes. It'll be Lancers ball. Carly Bell Goodwin puts it into play. Rigney jumps in front, sends it towards the box. Goalkeeper came out and wrapped it up before Ariana Schaefer could get there. Along the far side, Jones. Now Veronica White getting in on the action. White able to burst her way through and sends it up the far side. Out of play it goes. It'll be Hiller's entry. Down towards Cincinnati. Lancer is able to intercept. Along the far side, and that'll roll out. Thirteen twenty-two and counting left to go in this second quarter. One nothing lead for Hopkinton. And we'll get a trip up there. That'll draw a whistle. It's only been a physical game between these two. They're not afraid to get right in there. Certainly uh, makes it a lot of fun when you got two teams just playing some good physical ball. Schaefer. Skirk Ganich jumps in there and intercepts. Sent up now by Ranieri. Elstrom Hall comes away with it, sends it over to Champlin. Here comes Champlin. She'll be diverted by Ranieri, still working up that near side. Some good footwork there and a little too much uh, body contact. That'll draw the COVID whistle. Champlin will put it into play. This has to be an indirect kick, so Bella Deagle will tap it, and then a shot out in front, and a just wide is going to be Pirelli. Oh, that was a great setup by Champlin, but it was sent just wide. The answer is we'll send it off. There's a big chunk of the net wide open, too. She'd love to have that one back. Elstrom Hall sends it down to Belladiga. There's a shot just wide of the net. The Hillers are certainly getting some good looks in the attack zone so far today. Set that a play along the far side. Hiller's ball. Pirelli sends it down into the box. Beladiga out in front. Can they get a shot off? It's diverted for the moment. Tracked down on the near side by Scanavan. She'll send it out back towards the box off a of Champlin. It goes. Beladiga with a touch. And the Lancer is able to get it out of the attack zone. Elstrom Hall goes off of Robichaud. Robichaud trying to get in there. Silva now. Worked upfield by Bell Goodwin. Here's Skirkanich. Cutting her off is Finnegan. Out of play it goes. It'll be Hiller's ball. Nice job by uh, Finnegan sending that off of Skirkanich. Schaefer trying to turn it upfield out of play. Hillers will have the entry. Ten minutes left to go here in quarter number two as we'll have a couple substitutions. 
players come into the game, they got to use that hand sanitizer at the scores table before they can enter the field of play. Shelby Jones, Jessica Erledge, and Caitlin Graziano all into the game. The sanitizer you got to use that coming into the game and coming out of the game. Elstrom Hall puts it into play. Sent over by Champlin. Up the near side goes Souza, and we get a whistle. And a play it goes. It'll be put into play by the Hillers. Elstrom Hall trying to decide where to go with it. Puts it towards Scanavin. Knocked back out. And this time it'll be Lancer's ball. Bell Goodwin. And Robichaud would like to have that one back. Hillers will have the entry. Olstrom Hall. Now field goes Kirkanich. Mary trying to turn it around. Here comes Elstrom Hall. Cut off by Ranieri. She'll send it back to the keeper. Keeper just cut it out of there. That boot took a good curve, and that'll draw a whistle. Some collision there between Frazier and Skirkanich. Key so far in this game for both teams to seems to be get to the ball. Don't stop pursuing that ball. Hillers will have the indirect kick. Get a tap here by Finnegan. Elstrom Hall will send it up. And I think the issue there was she had to keep it on the ground in that situation. So it'll be Lancer's ball. Ranieri sends it up. Off of Finnegan, it goes towards the box. Goalkeeper way out, but she's able to wrap it up. Just under seven minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Hiller's leading one to nothing. Along the far side now. Scanavan works it upfield. Sent out a play off of Robbins. Hayward works it towards the box and it's wrapped up. Beldigo is just waiting any kind of Mishandled by the goalkeeper. She was going in there for the shot. Sent up field by Finnegan. Opportunity here and offsides. Just offsides. That would have was uh, certainly a good look there. By the Hillers. On the far side now. Tracking it down, Jones. She'll put it up the sideline. Over to Scanavin. And now a fire. And off the side of the net goes Hayward. There's a good send up towards Hayward who Showed off the wheels, getting towards the corner of the box. Was able to rip a shot off, but just puts it off the side of the net. If she went a little more to the left on that. That was going right in. That was a good fire there. Approached the box once again. 
And now they're diverted. Here comes Souza. Works it upfield. A little bump action there, but the ref will let him play on as Graziano and Robichaud were playing the ball. Had some incidental contact. And a play it goes. Lancers entry. Carly Bell Goodwin. Jumping in front, Sansonetti. She'll send it down off sides, I believe. Or actually, no, it might have been uh, the fact it wasn't on the ground. offside so it works out. Ranieri sends it down. Elstrom Hall jumps in front. And a play goes. Lancer's ball. And we're getting a substitution for Norton. Adele Cross Cup back into the game. Here are the officials saying 10 yards. Yes, they 10 yards back of the entry. Sansonetti. And we have a push that will lead to an indirect kick. For the Hillers. From the near side, Alstrom Hall. And she'll go backfield with it over to Graziano. Sent up by Ehrlich. Strong boot there by Finnegan along the far side. Here come the Hillers into the box. There's a shot, and off the keeper it goes, and then put out of play. Nice shot there by Hayward. Keeper just able to get in there and deflect it a little bit to allow Ranieri to put it out of play. 227 and counting, left to go here in the second quarter. The Hillers will have the entry from the corner. Off of Cincinnati. And back at a play it goes. Finnegan will put it into play. Over to Cincinnati. And she was diverted by Lennon. Entry once again for the Hillers into the box. And a nice shot by Finnegan, but it's standing in her way was Grace Souza. Hillers will take it again from the corner. Cincinnati. And... She's going to be able to keep it in along the end line. Takes a shot out in front. Still into play as it rolls over to the near side. Handled by Frazier. She rips it out in front. And the shot is diverted. Still in the box. And there's a shot and a goal. Kate Finnegan rips it in to make it a 2 to nothing game. Great possession by the Hillers. They kept the pressure on, kept pursuing the ball, kept the hustle going, and it pays off. That goal comes with about two minutes left in the second quarter. I want to say it was Sansonetti on the assist for that goal. That was just brilliant pressure by the Hillers there. And could we have more pressure here? Frazier going to track it down. Sends it back over to Finnegan. Out in front. Cincinnati approaching, and it's diverted towards Graziano. Up the near side of Finnegan. Sent up by Souza to Bell Goodwin. And it's a body contact there. That'll draw the whistles. Graziano and Robichaud get tied up. 
And that is going to do it for the second quarter of play. The Hillers net another goal, and they lead it after two. Hopkins in two, Norton nothing. You are tuned in to Girls JV Soccer on HCAM. We are ready for the third quarter of play. In this JV matchup between Norton and Hopkinton. A 2 0 lead for the Hillers. Ariana Schaefer netted a goal with 2.30 left in the first quarter. And then Kate Finnegan with about two minutes left to go in the second quarter. Hiller is getting a lot of nice open looks in this game so far today and doing a great job at putting pressure on these Norton defenders. And I think the uh, officials trying to determine if they have uh, the teams lined up on the right side of the field. They, have to, they switch every quarter. Not quite sure why they just don't switch it in halves, but I guess it does make it more fair to switch every quarter, especially if there's uh, wind issues. Got to play along the far side. Sometimes you get the wind in your favor and then... Uh, Sometimes there's no wind at all, but certainly uh, you want to make sure both teams are getting the wind in their favor and also uh, working against the wind at a fair amount. Lancer is working up the near side. Passed by Cross Cup to Gessner. Sent up by Souza. Some contact there. Pirelli was a little tripped up. Hillers with the indirect kick. Sent up by Silva. Sent over by Ranieri. Tracked down by Scanavin. Scanavan approaching, bursting out, takes the shot. She could have waited a little bit. She had some good room breaking through a couple of Lancers on that side of the field, and she took a couple steps forward. She could have uh, got a little bit closer to the net, but it was a good breakaway there by Scanavan. Beldiga tied up. Here's Scanavan. Puts it off of Lennon. Ladiga. And sometimes you see that open opportunity to take a shot. You just don't know uh, how close the defenders are behind you. So you rip off the shot, hoping for the best. Well, tripped up was Pirelli. Lancers will send it away. And the play goes real high. Lancers trying to put some pressure on. Silva sends it away. Silva's done a Nice job defensively for the Hillers in this game. Quick to get to the ball and send it off. Lancers have struggled to get open looks throughout the course of the afternoon so far. As Veronica White clides a little bit with Skirkanich. Thirteen thirty and counting left to go in this third quarter. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields for some girls' 
JV followed by Varsity Soccer Action. Here comes Champlin on a break to the box, takes a shot, and it's wrapped up. Oh, she just put that a little to the right. She likely would have had it. Beladiga trying to turn it around. White trying to jump in there. Back and forth we go. In the mid area. Along the far side now. Pirelli trying to track it down. Out of play it goes. Couple substitutions for both sides. Lily Terigny, Kate Finnegan into the game for Hopkinton. For Norton, Kelly Danette, and Curly Bill Goodwin. On the far side, sent to the box. Ooh, dangerous there by the Hillers. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Earl Eye. I don't know why Earl Eye didn't get it out there initially, but she sent it right along the goal line almost, and Hayward uh, sent it back to her. But there was a couple Lancers in the area. Fortunately, no harm done. Pirelli along the far side. Doing battle with Robichaud. It's a good physical play along the far side. Lancers uh, trying to really establish a, an attack in the second half. They didn't have much momentum in that first half, but they're certainly putting a little more pressure on than they have been throughout this game in these early minutes of the third quarter. Skirkanich sends it over to the far side, and out of play it goes. Lancers on the entry. Into the box. Hurl High comes out and wraps it up. Good shot by Hurl High because Kirkanich was flying into the box trying to get to the ball. And she would have had a nice open shot if Hurl High wasn't able to get there. Finnegan sends it up. Here comes Champlin. Champlin has some wheels along the near side. Diverted by Ranieri. Champlin with the futsal. Sends it over out in front, diverted, but out of play. Finnegan was hoping for the shot opportunity there. Jones. Over to Champlin. Sends it out. And airing it out there is Finnegan. A little too much on that one. Well, good defensive work by Podbelski and Ranieri, who have had a whole lot of pressure on them in these last few Hiller's possessions. Approaching was Champlin. Gessner airs it out. Played off of White over to the near side of Jones. Sent up by Finnegan. Some body contact there between Champlin and Gessner. That'll draw the whistle. Lancers is trying to Work it back into Hiller's territory, but Hopkinton not making that an easy task. Terigny sends it up towards the corner of the box. Hayward diverted along the far side. Out of play. Hiller is keeping the pressure on in these last few minutes. 
Jessica Erledge and Caitlin Graziano into the game for Hopkinton, along with Jordan Elstrom Hall. 8.15 and counting left to go in the third quarter. A 2-0 Hillers lead. Trying to work it upfield, Pirelli. Getting in there, Skinnevin. Skinnevin trying to turn it around. Sent up field on the track down, Schaefer. And we get a whistle here as offsides was called. Actually, I believe he's going to say it went out of play along that far sideline. Lancers will send it away. It was indeed offsides. It wasn't out of play. Now it's out of play. City teams are here as they're loosening up for the next game. What should be a good battle. Hiller's girls got a win yesterday too over Norton at Norton. Elstrom Hall sends it over to Cincinnati. She's tripped up. Now it's Schaefer actually sending it over. Bit of a collision there between Cincinnati and Lennon. Hillers will take it from the corner. No traditional corner kicks with the COVID rules, so get an indirect kick from the corner. Cincinnati sends it to the box along the end line, and it's out of play. Up the near side. Finnegan. Over to Cincinnati. And a collision there between Cincinnati and Lennon. Cincinnati thought she had it from the corner. The official says otherwise, and she's going to have an indirect kick here. Sends it to the box. It's cleared away. Along the far side. Over to the box, Cincinnati, and we get a whistle. Offsides, I believe, was the call. That was indeed the case. Over to the near side of Calhoun. Turned up field. Rigney trying to get in there. Keeper coming way out once again. Another dangerous situation there as Hayward was quickly approaching, but fortunately for Norton, Ranieri able to get there first. End of the game for the Hillers, Courtney Frazier along with Emmett Champlin and Shrika Belladiga.
Far side. And the box out of play. Be Hiller's ball. Pirelli. Sends it into Belladiga. Into the box. And the shot just wide there by Champlin. On the far side. Belsky trying to turn it upfield. Ladiga. Under two minutes left to go in this third quarter. Approaching the box. There's a shot, and it's just wide from Champlin. Maybe that a little bit of contact from Aaron Lennon. Also uh, diverted the shot a little bit too, but that was a good look for Champlin. From the near side. These officials let him play a little bit out there. There's been a little bit of body contact and pushing at times, but they're, they're let him have some fun out there. Peladiga, top of the box. Hayward doing battle with Bell Goodwin along the far side. Sends it to the box. Hillers with an opportunity here. There's a shot, and it is bobbled and wrapped up off the foot of Kate Finnegan. Finnegan ripping off a pretty good shot there. The Hillers putting the pressure on here. In these closing minutes of the third quarter. Calhoun sends it down. Sent back up by Finnegan. Champlin over towards Terigny. Ladiga leaves it out in front. Hiller is approaching. And it is going to be bobbled by the keeper. And then put out of bounds off of Frazier. Well, Norton, getting lucky there. You had Courtney Frazier and Belladiga right there. And uh, fortunately uh, for Norton, Belladiga not able to get the shot off she wanted. We are through three quarters of play. After three, it's Hopkinton two, Norton nothing. The final quarter coming up next on HCAM. We are ready for the fourth quarter of play. A 2 nothing Hillers lead in this JV matchup with the Norton Lancers. And this has been a great effort by this Hillers team. They have played well today. They have been uh, showing off some good hustle and doing a nice job getting to the ball. Good all-around effort by this Hillers team as they look to walk away with another win here on their home turf. They'll start off with possession, working right to left across your screen. And we are ready to go. Sent down by Jones. Sent back up now by Calhoun. Silva over to Jones. It's up to Finnegan. Diga gets in there. <laughs> it was a hard kick off of Podbelski. Back and forth we go. On their side, Souza. 
Some body contact there between Susan and Finnegan. That'll draw the whistle. There's the, one of those COVID calls. You can't have that body contact. Indirect kick here. Sent back by Robbins. Souza airs it out towards the net. It is off of her lie. Elstrom Hall tracks it down. Puts it up the far side. And a play goes. What a dangerous situation there. But a nice job by Elstrom Hall getting it out of that danger zone. Allie Dinette will have the indirect kick. Tom Nappy on the call for this JV game and varsity game coming up starting at 2 o'clock. We'll celebrate the senior day as well. All the seniors on this great Hillers varsity team, which we'll see in action against Lancers once this game is through. Starting at 2 p.m., a double dose of Hillers Girls Soccer for you today on HCAM. Calhoun sends it in. Hillers approaching. Loose ball wrapped up just before Courtney Frazier could get there. And don't forget, for the latest on Hiller Sports, you can turn to our website, hcam.tv, but also we have a terrific new show on HCAM called HCAM Sports Talk Live, and it's every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. until 4 p.m. Get you up to date with the latest in local high school, college, and professional sports. HCAM Sports Talk Live every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Sent down by Veronica White. And it's hosted by yours truly. Lancers will put it into play. And of course for the latest happenings in Hopkinton, you can tune in to HCAM News Live every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. We're live with HCAM News now, getting you up to date with What's going on in town? Hillers will have the free kick. Veronica White will take it. Just under 13.30 to go in this fourth quarter. 2-0 Hillers lead. And a playoff of Gessner. Handful of substitutions for both sides. Ariana Schaefer, Michaela Skinnevin, and Caitlin Sansonetti into the game for Hopkinton. Adele Cross Cup in for Norton. And also uh, Aaron Podbelski back out there as well. Hillers with the futsal from the far side. Actually, that was a uh, free kick, excuse me. Sent up by Schaefer. Over to the box it goes, Champlin. Puts it into the danger zone, but it's wrapped up. Certainly a little chillier today than we've seen on the previous two weekends this season. But pretty comfortable out here on this Sunday afternoon. Sent down to Sansanetti. They were getting in there. Sent back up and out by Ranieri. Or no, it's going to stay in play, excuse me, to Robichaud. She's tripped up. Little body contact there between Jones and Robichaud. It'll be Lancer's ball. We'll have the uh, indirect kick here. Calhoun. A 
little confusion there. Calhoun. Nice uh, move there. Turned up towards Robichaud. And Robichaud will take it from the corner. Sent that off of Jones. From the corner, wrapped up. <laughs> I think the issue there was it had to be an indirect kick. So the Hillers will get to clear it. Jones will take it from the corner. Cincinnati out of play. I think you'll see that every now and then uh, <laughs> this season. Just kind of forget the new rules from the corner and approach it like you have been for the many years you've been playing the game. Certainly tough to transition for a lot of these players since they've been playing the sport for so long. Now they have to play it a very different way. Out in front. And that'll be a COVID call. Close contact there. Hillers will get to send it away. White on the indirect kick. Cincinnati, indirect kick pretty much has to be a pass of some type. Can't be towards the box, can't be towards the net. Along the far side, Champlin. Working the sideline for Norton. That is Gessner. Sent down by Sousa. Sousa. Drawing some attention from Veronica White. We'll get a close contact call there. Less than nine minutes left to go in this one. Hiller's up two to nothing in this JV showdown. Over to the far side to Elstrom Hall. There goes Champlin out of play. Back into the game for the Hillers, Courtney Frazier, along with Sophie Pirelli, Jessica Ehrlich, and Caitlin Graziano. Coming in for Norton is Carly Bell Goodwin. Rachel Calhoun will take a breather. Also now in for the Hillers, Kate Finnegan and Shrika Belladiga. Hiller's trying to work it towards the attack zone. Top of the box. Sent down by Hayward towards the end line. Put out of play. Jones. Baldiga getting in there. Over to the near side and out. Jones puts it into play to Finnegan. Back out it goes. Out of play that time off of Skinnevin. Oh, it was off of uh, Lancer scan of a nice job making sure it got a piece of an Orton player. Pro 
Approaching the six and a half minute mark here in this fourth quarter. Pop back out of play by Norton. Hayward puts it into play. Nice move there by Souza. And the box wrapped up. Aired out towards the box by Finnegan. Frazier along the far side. And a playoff of Cross Cup. Into the box. Miller's trying to attack. They got Schaefer and Frazier in the area. Lancer is able to clear for the moment. Towards midfield, sent down by Graziano. On the far side, Scanavin. Scanavin going to rip a shot. Wrapped up. Upfield goes the keeper. Sent over by Finnegan. Into the box. Ranieri sends it out. Hiller is on the attack once again here in the final few minutes of this game. Sent back towards Graziano. Out in front, Villadiga. And sent out of play along the near side. The Norton ball. Just under four minutes left to go. Miller's trying to close out a win. In this JV game, and don't forget, we have the varsity game coming up next. We'll have the senior day festivities prior to the game. Getting in there is Terigny sent away by the Lancers. Elstrom Hall sends it down. And I'll play it goes. Bill Goodwin will put it into play for Norton. Back and forth we go along the near side. Getting in there is Champlin. Sent back out off of Robbins. Excuse me, make that Bell Goodwin. Shot by Champlin into the box. Loose ball, and it's just diverted before Courtney Frazier could get there. The Hillers will take it from the corner. 2.20 and counting left to go. Good battle between these two teams. Good physical, well fought out game. And the Hillers likely going to come away with the W. Along the near side. Turned around by Finnegan out of play. Under two minutes now. Gwen Robichaud into the game for Norton. 
Sent up by Podbelski. Mancer's going to try to establish an attack here. And we'll have a body contact whistle there as Olstrom Hall and Gessner met up. Here comes Sansonetti. She'll get it away. Champlin sends it over. Racing in Terigny. Back towards midfield now. Over to Sansonetti. And a play goes. Norton ball. Bill Goodwin puts it into play. Cincinnati gets in there. Nice steal. Ooh, some big contact there with Cincinnati. Or she might have twisted up that ankle. I think she just misstepped and twisted up that ankle. They're going to check on her. Hopefully she's okay. Trainer's going to help her off. But it does appear to be an ankle injury. And that's going to do it for the game. The Hopkinton Hillers going to come away with the 2 to nothing victory. A nice, well-fought-out game. Hillers taking down Norton in the JV matchup 2 to nothing. For Rowan Scott on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Stay tuned. The Varsity game coming up in just a few minutes right here on HCAMED as well as our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. Hillers JV takes down Norton by a final score of 2 to nothing.